Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jade, also known as the Starbuck on YouTube and Instagram. As you can see from the title of today's video, we're doing my fine jewelry collection. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for my weekly updates. I make weekly content, mainly luxury related stuff on handbags and accessories and styling. So as you guys have seen in the preview, I kind of have two sets of fine jewelry that I typically wear. Over the past few years, I've changed my preferences when it comes to the metal color of my accessories. So before I was initially very into rose gold, then I became invested in gold, and then now I'm much more of a silver and white gold kind of person. So that's why you guys will see two sets of my jewelries. I will start with my gold jewelries, then we'll move on to my palladium or white gold jewelry, and then lastly I'll end up with my watches. Keep in mind I don't really have a daily set that I wear all the time and I won't really be showing you guys everything I own. I will just be picking out my favorite pieces to show you guys and also I keep a lot of my jewelry that I don't wear in the bank for safety reasons so that's also why I just don't have all of my pieces but what I'm going to show you are my favorites and are items that I wear all the time so hopefully you guys will enjoy. So starting off with my gold jewelry, I have a couple of rings that I really like that are in gold. I would say if I had to pick one, the first one would be the Cartier ring. This one I'm not actually sure if it's in rose gold or gold because it does have a more copper undertone. But it's one of the newer collection that Cartier did. It's quite fun and unique and the pieces on the jewelry actually all moves which makes it pretty fun to wear. Like when I'm wearing it, I'm a quite a very like fidgety person sometimes. So this is like a great accessory to fidget with and it's really fun to like spin it around. But yeah, I'll put the name of all of my jewelries in the description box for you guys as I don't remember the name of all of them. So this one is my first one, it's from Cartier. And I really like it. I would say it's not the most comfortable thing to wear because it does have a bit of a rougher surface, but it's still a pretty fun piece to have. The second one is also from Cartier. It's part of their Just Un Coup collection. And as you can see, it's a nail head style. And again, I bought it to kind of wear either on this finger or that finger. This one I've had for quite some years. I think I bought these two around the same time. And I've definitely worn this one more than this one. Because I think the Just Un Coup is a bit easier to wear and style. The only downside is the hook it does hook onto your sweaters if you're not careful in winter time. As long as you're mindful of that, it's honestly a great little piece of accessory. It does dig into your skin if you're a bit bloated. So I definitely recommend sizing up one size or just go and try it on in store so that you get the right size for your fingers. So this one I also just really like. Next I have a set of rings that I got from Chanel. It's part of the Coco Crush collection. As you guys can see, there's two. One is a thinner bangle, and then the other one is a thicker bangle. So this one doesn't have diamonds or anything. It's just a plain ring. And then this one has Pave diamonds. So these two, I usually wear them as a stack because I think that's the more stylish way to wear these. They're meant to kind of be stacked, and I bought them together as a set. So I really do like to wear them in the summer. Something funny does happen with it because I think to make sure that it doesn't get stuck on your finger, there is like a concaving in kind of situation. I don't know if you guys can see on the bigger ring. So if you sweat on your fingers, <laughs> it will probably get trapped in there. It's not the most pleasant thing and it kind of creates a suction too. So it can be hard to re be removed. But this is again, a kind of a statement piece you could wear. It's quite pretty and fun. Even though I don't wear gold jewelry anymore, I still really like this one. Moving on, I have some bracelet to show you guys. Um, these two are also just from Cartier. As you guys can probably tell now, I really like Cartier jewelry. These two are the bracelets. One is the love bracelet and then this one is the Just Include bracelet. So I got the Just Include bracelet to kind of match. Hmm? with the ring. Uh, let me rearrange it. So these two 
go really well together because they're like a kind of a set. So it's kind of like this. If you ever decide to wear them as a set, it's quite pretty and even though it's a classic of Cartier, I still think it's quite unique and unique enough to kind of stand on its own and so I added them into my collection. Personally, I find the bracelet a little bit more uncomfortable than the ring. I think putting it on and taking it off, often time I scratch my arm. <laughs> you guys can already see I scratched myself again because the end of the nail head is quite sharp and my skin is a bit sensitive so I don't really enjoy wearing or taking off the bracelet and I just find the ring easier to wear. You'll probably see throughout this video I'm a big fan of rings and that's kind of the thing I wear the most and if you guys watch my previous video you also know I don't like to wear a lot of jewellery at a time. I tend to wear only a couple pieces on a daily basis. Between the two bracelets I've just shown you, personally I recommend the love bracelet it's just a lot easier to wear i have heard stories of people having trouble with this one the breaking and stuff but i've had no issue with mine when i got it i did wear it very very extensively like every day i did not take it off and i had no issue with it frankly this one is the one with little diamonds on it it's very cute it's the thin one i think i just prefer a thinner bracelet as they're more denty and elegant so that's more of my aesthetic it's pretty easy to put on and take off like i can do it myself with no help just i put it on and i just screw the nail in and honestly i have nothing bad to say about it i would love to have maybe a similar one with flan pave diamond in white gold because i don't really wear gold anymore so that just goes to show you how much I love this bracelet. So moving on, I think that's all the pieces I'm going to cover with you guys in gold. So shifting over, I have just recently started to collect things in white gold and Palladian hardware, so I don't have that many pieces but I do have a lot of rings and for some of you guys that know I got engaged last year so that's definitely where the shift really came in for me to kind of shift over to Palladium and white gold jewelries. A piece I've had for a long time, some of you guys have seen my video, is the necklace from Van Cleef. I have a couple more pieces from this brand but this definitely is my favorite one to wear. It just kind of go with everything I wear these days. This is definitely one of the earliest pieces I have in white gold and I absolutely love it. Honestly, I would recommend it to anybody if you guys are into fine jewellery or you're looking for a piece from Mankleef. I think this is an awesome first piece. It's very wearable, you can wear it all the time and it's honestly pretty easy to maintain. I mean, I've had no issue with it. I am not the type that wears my jewellery 24 hours a day, so maybe I'm not an extreme user, but I have no issue with my jewellery. Like, I do wear them to the beach during the day. I tend to take them off at night and I clean them and they generally stay in pretty good condition. Moving on, this is another piece from Cartier. You guys have probably seen it as well in my other video. It's also a just in clue, but this one is a dual one. So it goes two round instead of one and it has a bit of diamond on the nail head. This one, honestly, I love so much. I've wanted it since it came out. I was really happy to be able to get it last year, I think in October, November, and I've been loving it since. I did get it on the larger size, as you guys can see. It's pretty loose, but that's just my personal preference. Like, I really don't like having the nail head kind of digging into my skin. So I got it a bit bigger. So moving on, this piece you guys have also seen. This one is from Hermes. I unboxed it for my Christmas haul. I, again, love this. I think Hermes does pretty good jewelries overall. I really enjoyed them. And if you guys seen my video last week, you also know that I got another ring. So we can do a quick comparison. As you can see, they're visually quite similar, the thinness and this one, because they took inspiration kind of from the same concept. But they're still quite different, like one is very flat, right? And then the other one concaves up a bit more. You do it like this. So when you wear them, it is a pretty big difference, in my opinion. Here you guys can see, right? So one stand up a lot more than the other. They're both pretty comfortable to wear. This thinnest one is a bit more sharper on the edge, so you do need to be careful. Overall, I love these two pieces. Highly recommend white gold jewelry from Hermes, even though they don't make a lot of them. But if you can get your hands on a piece of white gold jewelry from Hermes, definitely do it if you like 
what gold that is. Next is also a piece of jewelry from Hermes that I showed you guys last week. But again, it's a really gorgeous and unique piece. Honestly, I have not seen anybody else wear this. I saw it in the store and we ordered it from the catalog. It did take a couple months for it to come in, but honestly, I have zero regret about buying this one. It's also just really chic and cool. And being somebody that's a bit minimalistic, this ring I can just wear on its own with nothing else and I feel very content. Moving on, this is my engagement ring. Some of you guys again have probably seen me wear it in my videos. I am really in love with it. My fiance and I did choose it together because I would like to have a say in the ring that I'm gonna wear for the rest of my life and he's very inclusive in these kind of things so we did choose it together. I really like this piece especially the oval shape it just looks great because I wanted the ring to be a bit bigger as I know my finger tend to swell up during the summer month so I did get it tailored to be a tiny bit like 0.25 bigger than my normal size so I also have another ring which will act as my wedding band I think in the future to kind of lock up the ring so we wear them together like this and it keeps the ring in place. So lastly for rings, this one you guys probably have seen it as well. This one I got custom made here in Paris. It's from a brand called Amity's. So they do custom made engagement ring and jewelries. So at the time, I wasn't sure if I wanted a custom made engagement ring or not. So we went to them and ended up buying it instead at a brand. So I still decided to make something with them, which is this piece that my dad wanted to give to me as my engagement gift. So it's a eternity band in OVO. Eventually, I created could stack it. I mean we did match it to my engagement ring like the specs of the diamonds but I think together it's gorgeous but a bit too excessive <laughs> to wear on a daily basis. Maybe when I attend a nice event or stuff like that I would wear them together but normally I don't stack them like this is a bit too much. So that's it for the jewelry. So we're gonna move on to some watches. So we'll start off with my favorite for many years. It's the Cartier Panther watch. You guys can see it's in gold with little diamonds on the side. This one I got for one of my birthdays. My dad bought it for me in Hong Kong. So I've had it for many, many years now and I've worn it super extensively, like I think for maybe three to four years. I've worn it every single day and I absolutely love the look of this watch, even though I don't really wear gold colored jewelry anymore. It's still one of my favorite, favorite watches out there. I just love how small the dial is, even though, you know, it is a battery watch, but it is a gold watch. So I think that kind of balance it out a bit. It's difficult to find automatic watches for women. It's just, I think the market is starting to open up a bit for that, but there just isn't a whole lot of options that are super attractive for ladies for automatic movement. So battery watch is, Something we need to put up with. Hopefully companies start to realize women also care about their watches and start putting work into making smaller automatic watches. So this is what it looks like on my wrist. It's super pretty. I don't really stack it with like my bands. Like I know people tend to like stack it like this, but I just don't like to stack things. I don't know why it really stresses me out for them to be clinging onto each other, but that's just me. So moving on, I have three small kind of like decorative watches. These are all from Hermes. But yes, here are my three watches from Hermes. Um, they're from, I think, three different collections. I'll show you my earliest one. This is my earliest one. Um, it's a really cute decorative watch. Honestly, it's great as an accessory. Like if you're just going about your day and you want something non-hassle and you don't have to worry about because watch thieves are a real thing now, especially here in Europe. So I tend to wear my Hermes watches, I think, <laughs> a bit more <laughs> than my other ones, just for safety reasons. My main Cartier is fine, just if you have slightly more thought after watches, it can become problematic. 
So this one is the first watch. I really like the little diamond detail they have on the inside of the watch. That kind of expands to the outside. It's quite cute and I think it's quite unique and it's a very just small piece to have if you want to wear something on your wrist. I mean and it helps you with your spinning history <laughs> with the rest. But anyways I do genuinely really like them. I think they're a great piece to buy if you're into ornaments and you're not sure what to buy as your first big spend item. Next one is this one. It's another classic H shaped watch of Hermes. I won't really put it on, but I'll just show you guys quickly. But it looks like this if I were to put it on. And again, it's a really great fall time watch. This one I've also had for a little bit, I think two, three years. I've worn it a lot as well in fall and winter time. I think it's just a great piece. Again, I'll list all the details that I can find about my jewelry pieces and watches down below for you guys to check it out as I don't, you know, know off the top of my head the size of this exact watch. I do think it is the smallest model Hermes have. And then the third one, if you guys have seen my videos before, you would have seen me unbox this one for, again, my Christmas haul. So it is also another very pretty piece. The band goes too round, so it kind of ties up like this. And the diamonds on the side really are quite shiny, so they're a nice decorative piece. And this one is quite nice, again, I think for all the seasons. And I like how long the strap is, kind of give it a unique twist, which is what I really like about this watch. So lastly, the last watch and the last item I want to share with you for this video is my absolute favorite watch. As you guys can see, it's a blue dial Olimar Piguet watch with um, diamonds on the side. This is in the 34mm, the 77351ST. I got this one, I think, in 2021 in the London flagship on New Bond Street. I did have to wait a couple of months for this one to come in for me. And as you guys can see, the detail of the watch is absolutely amazing. I really love how shiny the links of the watch is and it has an open back, it's an automatic movement. So I think it was something new that Ophige started to do a couple years back because before that the only women's watch you could buy were like 33mm with battery but thankfully they decided to put out this collection. I think for me 34mm is a pretty good size given that these ones tend to fit a bit larger. As you can see the links like ends here so you just need to make sure that this width of the watch is not wider than your wrist or else it sits a bit funky. So anything bigger than this I don't think would really suit me. But this is Let's see what it looks like on my wrist. I don't wear it out as much as I would like to, just for safety reasons again. It's honestly super frustrating that it's something we just have to be concerned with as I don't really want to lose my precious pieces. Um, this is also what I bought as a set for my engagement because I guess I want to give my partner something back as well for our engagement and for it to not be so one-sided so I did gift him a watch from AP. It's the other, the men's one, so it's the Royal Oak 15500ST, so the exact same model but the 41mm. And yeah, so we have a pair of watches as our engagement watch which adds more, I guess, sentimental value to this piece as well. So that's probably one of the reasons why I really treasure it. I think that's all for today's video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you took some inspiration away from it if you're looking to add some more fine jewelry into your collection. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.